What's going on? Just back with another video. Um, so today I just uh, wanted to talk about a, a poll that I saw the other day. Uh, it, it looks like it's from Main Street Polling uh, from July 8th to 9th of this year, which is obviously just a few days ago. Pretty small sample size, just, uh, just under 1,200 people. That being said, look at these numbers here from the Conservatives. 45%. So now they're up. I think last time I checked, they were at 42. So they're up three points. Liberals were at 25. They're down two points. NDP down another three points to 15. Vlox at 8%, which is even. And the Greens are up to 3%, which is an increase of one. And then the PPC is back down to 2%, which with a decrease of three. And then 2% selecting others. Now, I don't believe that we've seen a poll with Pierre Polyev polling quite this high. Now, he's been in the 40s or late 30s for pretty much you know, the better part of a, a year, year and a half. And for good reason, right, with all the crazy issues that's going on with the Liberal Party, the scandals, the taxes, the incompetence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And now you're seeing it in, in another poll here where last week I did a video where Nick Nanos had a poll and he had the Liberals all the way up to 27. Now he's very biased. We all we all are aware of this. I'm not, I've never actually heard of Main Street before. But that being said, this is I think the number that we're actually going to be closest to. Now maybe Pierre Polyev can get up to fifty percent. I don't think I don't know if he's going to get that high, but mid to high forties for sure. So around forty five percent, forty six, forty seven, maybe forty eight, and I think that's what his results are going to be. Um, and you know, the Liberals, of course, 23%, NDP 15%. I mean, they're at the point where they can, even if they combine their numbers, they wouldn't even hit uh, the uh, amount of votes that the Conservatives are going to get. Not to mention the fact that the election doesn't just work where it's just a, they just count up the votes. You have to win a certain amount of ridings. And a lot of the 23% is going to be in places like Toronto and Montreal, where there's a lot of people in the ridings, but their votes only count for their own riding, right? So... In order for the Liberals to win, they're going to have to actually like win the popular vote by like multiple points, which obviously isn't going to happen. I mean, there's no way the, that the Liberals can recover in time in order to, you know, to <laughs> recoup this 22-point de uh, deficit that they're in right now. Maybe they can do something to increase it a little bit, but there's no way they're going to change that many people's minds going back to the Liberal Party because a lot of people have left the Liberal Party. And a lot of them say they're not coming back either, right? So at this point for the liberals, it's just about damage control. And that's been this way for at least the past, you know, little while uh, since the by-election for sure. I mean, there, there's no hope, there's no path for the liberal party. So they're just trying to, you know, do damage control right now. And well, since that's happened, they went down another two points. So they're not doing a good job of that either, which isn't that shocking. Now, you know, in terms of the NDP, I mean, more bad news for Jagmeet Singh as people continue to leave the Liberal Party, which is a far left party. They're not going over to the other far left party in the NDP. They're going over to the Conservatives. Just goes to show you, people are really sick of this woke shit. They're sick of taxes. They're sick of not having enough homes being built. They're sick of the crime. They're sick of the outrageous amount of immigra uh, immigrants that they're bringing in every year. Again, I am not anti-immigrant. I'm just pro-math. We don't have the infrastructure to bring in that many people, right? Again, this is more common sense. Oh, sorry, I used the word common sense. I guess I'm Donald Trump now. Stupid liberal tactics. Tactics. I, I did a video about that the other day. I don't know if you guys saw it, but, you know, I mean, they're in desperation mode right now. 23%. What's the liberals' game plan? Well, they're going to attack Pierre Polyev and call him a right-wing extremist and a fascist, and he's like Donald Trump. It's just a desperate Hail Mary to get people to not vote for them and look at the polls it's not working again low sample size and yes we still have a ways to go before the election but whatever the liberals are doing it's backfiring in their faces in real time and i think uh i can speak for all of you to say it's really nice that this is happening because it's nine nine years too long for justin trudeau his time's up his time's you know his days are numbered essentially and he's gotta he's gotta go as soon as possible hopefully we have an election you know, sooner than October of 2025. I don't know if that's going to happen, but hey, here's to hoping. Who knows what happens? Maybe once Jagmeet Singh secures his pension, which I think is early 2025, maybe he'll turn on Trudeau finally. But maybe not. Who knows, right? So, but here's to hoping. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think that Pierre Polyev's numbers are going to go uh, even higher than 45%? Do you think they've kind of leveled off or do you think he'll drop a little bit? Uh, I always enjoy reading your comments, guys. I appreciate the channel engagement. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with another video.